got to hear about it every day. You know, couples, they spend hundreds of hours planning that wedding day. They sure do. Yes, but they don't give too much thought to that actual wedding night. You kind of just think it's going to happen and everything's going to turn out right. Right. But at the end of it, some people are disappointed. We sure picked an obscure movie to prove that point. <laughs> What, what, what movie is this even? Uh, Do I, you know? I forget the name of it. So does everybody else. <laughs> but don't you remember? It was so funny. No. He didn't tell his parents they got married. Here's the thing. In, in all seriousness, a new study out today found that more than half of couples don't have sex on their wedding night. No. And every couple I've talked to has said, oh, listen, uh, my right. head hit the pillow. Right, we were so tired. Right, yeah. so our sex and marriage therapist, Leslie Gufsison, is here with how you can actually make that wedding night something you'll remember your whole life through. Yes. Oh. Ooh, I didn't know that statistic. That's a great statistic. Leslie, yeah. wow. Getting, that's that you get sexy some. music. <laughs> <laughs> but nobody feels sexy by 10.30 on their wedding night. Right. Is that the problem? Right. Well, that's part of the problem. But they never even talked about what they wanted to have happen beforehand. They did hours of talking about every detail of the wedding, but they never said, hey, let's talk about our wedding night. Do. Spend a few hours planning your wedding night. And if you're going to party at your wedding like it's 1999, <laughs> maybe you can take a rain check. That's okay. Okay. Because a lot of disappointments do happen that night. People are exhausted. Mm -hmm. They're drunk. The day itself is, can be very surreal yeah so to have expectations is going to be fabulous is really just a setup so but I mean the conversation mm. would be like well I hope I get some and the guy would be like I hope I get some too and then I hope <laughs> it's together and then <laughs> right and then, yeah I mean what are you gonna let say me, let me help what what gonna, let me okay, help okay. some things that can make it make it special right it's not just about sex okay it is about sealing the deal but it's also about celebrating your marriage I think some nice things about reflecting on the day talking about the wedding itself okay maybe read reading your vows because you did not hear them no. up on, uh, You're on right. the altar, right? You're That's right. And idea. so spend some time really connecting and just loving on each other in a relational way. And then you can move into sex and the key here is slow it down. Okay, we're looking at a Thanksgiving meal, not fast food. Okay. Okay. All right. You want to luxuriate in the experience. You want it to be romantic. The key here is exploration. <laughs> okay. Pleasure. If, if you slow it down too much, though, I'm going to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe you needed that rain check for the next so, day. Don't talk about that really quickly. <laughs> it is okay as a couple to say, let's make our romantic hanky panky night the second night of our honeymoon. Yes. That's okay, okay to do. Or All the right. next morning if you're morning people. Right. Okay. Some people are. But perfect sex, the ideal of perfect sex this night, not even your goal. Okay, uh -huh. to start celebrating your perfect love. If you walk away with mutual pleasure and loving connection, it was a win. Okay, you're okay? right. Right. And then you're going to be practicing and repeating this a lot. You're going to get better over time. True right. love. Practice makes perfect. Practice and patience. Really quick, we had some people on Facebook. We asked on Facebook on a mm, ton of comments. Yes. Here's what they had to say about their wedding night. Sarah said, "When all was said and done, we passed out." <laughs> on the bed of the hotel room. Yeah. Yeah. So they should have talked about it, maybe said, we'll do it the next day. Yes, because right. someone was probably disappointed in that. Matt and Kayla. Yeah, they said both of us had to work early the next day. Needless to say, there was no magic that night or the next day. <laughs> and if they knew there was going to be no magic, that's okay. They have another plan for a different time, then it's it's okay. Uh -huh, yeah. okay. But if they haven't talked about it and there are expectations floating around, somebody's going to end up injured. Or disappointed. And honestly, yeah. I hear people in my office years and years later tracking back to that kind of sad experience at the beginning. For real? Yeah, yes. that's too bad. Because now, there is so much emphasis pressure. on it, pressure and wanting it to be magical and memorable. One more. Joey says, and you'd say this is good, we went to sleep after a nice, long, hot, I think they meant hot, yeah, huh? bubble bath in the tub. Well, so I that's could have got not, something in the bubble I bath. I could have got I some, too. probably hot. So that's, <laughs> that is sensual without being sexual. That's okay? Sensual is great. Romantic is great. Pleasure is great. Mutual connection. Okay. A, a feel good where you both walk away and go, yay. I love it. <laughs> All right. We fell asleep holding hands. That is good, right? It was a connection. And you were drunk. That, uh, anyway. <laughs> hey, listen. Leslie, some kind of memory. You offer great advice. You got a wonderful book out there called Amazing Intimacy, yes. where mm. we get into much more detail than we can here on the show. I highly recommend it. Also, I, you should follow Leslie on Twitter and Facebook, which I do. Great advice. The key to all this is to communicate your expectations before your wedding. Yes, night. have a plan. Have a plan. Thank Good you. to see you. Yes. Good to see you. Thank you.